Yes. Uh, this is an example of the spiritualist religious art. Uh, this is a, a uh, portrait of Bacalo Baca painted by a clairvoyant artist and showing the high energy that is contained in this saint of the spiritual Gnostic Church. Uh, these beings are evoked through magical ceremonies, but they also participate in a variety of voodoo ceremonies where they possess the, the faithful. We know, of course, that uh, religious art ha has a long history, going back to, of course, pagan uh, or pre-Christian times, and also, I might add, in the traditions of uh, Christianity. This is a, a painting of the baptism of the neophytes by a, a member of the Italian school of the early 15th century. This represented, of course, the early converts to the Christian faith, probably within the Roman Empire, who were receiving the sacrament of baptism, the first of the initiation rites. And the clergyman who's wearing the robe has a halo indicating that he's perhaps one of the early saints, possibly St. Paul coming to Rome and baptizing neophytes. So if we look at religious traditions, we can see that religious imagery has taken on a variety of forms. And this image is, of course, one of the more fearsome deities, but like in Tibetan iconography, these are protective deities and as well as being fearsome. A fearsome protective deity has the appearance of a special type of monstrosity to ward off all entities that are trying to attack the believer. And what we tried to do in this particular study was represent the face as power and at the same time participating in the higher mammal kingdom. As I said, this is a study of Bacalobaca. Bacalobaca is the god of what we would call nature devils and demons who protect and guard the sanctuary of the spirits. This Bacalobaca is considered very significant in giving bravery and military virtues and at the same time intensity of faith and courage to die for the faith to all those who believe in this belief or in this system of werewolf and nature sorcery. So consequently this is one of the deities we find protecting homes in Haiti. Thank you.